NAMISEP said the consultative process solicited strong views, as well as a number of agreements, especially from the traditional authorities, on the powers of the envisaged constitutional body. LRDC secretary noted that the stakeholders strongly advocated that the Namibia Boundaries Delimitation and Demarcation Commission be permanent as proposed by the law, supported by a structured secretariat with a budget to execute its mandate. On the issue of internal boundaries, the LRDC boss admitted that the traditional authority boundaries are not easily recognizable, which fuels conflicts. But also the delimitation and demarcation of our regional boundaries within Namibia as well as the boundaries of towns, villages and so on. There is further agreement that the commission to be established must also deal with boundaries of various traditional authorities. NAMISEP added that traditional authorities and other stakeholders advocated for a body with limited powers to enforce decisions within its jurisdiction. The LRDC secretary noted that the constitutional amendment only provides for the establishment of the commission, but an enabling legislation needs to be drafted as a matter of urgency. It is extremely urgent that we get a legal framework to have the commission established. So. Our energies are geared towards having a final report by the middle of November. On his part, the chairperson of the Law Reform and Development Commission, Saki Shangala, said the envisaged constitutional body will also have powers to name regions, constituencies, towns and local authorities. So that this body which is permanent can have a sort of a neutral relationship between those in the towns and, for example, a minister.